It's Panini. Nigeria in time added on at the end of the first half. Greece. In four years with Betis, Fanidi played 131 games and scored 38 goals and was made club captain after two years. Betis was relegated in 2000, George transferred to Real Mallorca for £2.5 million. He scored several important goals, helping Mallorca qualify for the Champions League before he was again on the move. English Premier League club Ipswich Town came calling and after a drawn-out transfer worth £3 million, he joined the Tractor Boys for the 2001-2002 campaign, scoring two goals in his first game. It turned out to be a false dawn, however. The season ended in relegation from the Premiership, a huge drop from a fifth place the previous year. It was a miserable season for Fanidi too, hampered by a fractured cheekbone earlier in the season. By the time he regained form, Ipswich sat bottom of the table, and after a mid-season revival, George was off to Mali for the African Cup of Nations. With high hopes heading into the tournament, Nigeria's third place disappointed many. And along with the infighting that plagued Nigerian football for many years, the entire coaching staff was sacked. When the 2002 World Cup squad was announced by new coach Adegboya Onegbindi, Fanidi George was one of several names conspicuously missing from the list. There was never a solid reason given for his omission, and Nigeria sorely missed him at the finals. In England, Fanidi stayed with Ipswich, playing in Division 1, but financial difficulties and local disillusionment saw Ipswich buy out his contract and release him in July 2003. Having not played for nearly six months, George's career was thrown a lifeline when Real Mallorca coach Luis Aragones invited him for a trial with his former club. But season 2003-04 was not successful. Fanidi played sparingly for the relegation-threatened Mallorca, and he announced his retirement from club football at season's end. New Nigerian coach Christian Chukwu then recalled Fanidi and Sunday Olase to the national team, but the club amounted to nothing, and the sun set on the Gazelle's career. The football world is poorer without the sight of Fanidi George in full flight, hurtling down the right wing, or the dazzling strikes that won the hearts of all who saw him play. possession from uh, Betis, but uh, Alfonso finds himself in loads of space there, great ball through to Fanidi George, who under pressure from Clark gets a great left foot shot in across the keeper, and it's 1-0, but it's a good goal. Tremendous goal by Fanidi George, they say he's more settled now after signing that long contract, 